One word. Wow. Lexus is really on a roll this year. On May 9th, they announced a teaser with something big is coming, and they introduced the first ever Lexus TX, and they're saying it's coming soon, and we need to know when is that coming, right? Well, then a few days later, on May 11th, they actually came and announced a something that surprised all of us, the all-new 2024 Lexus GX, something that they have never redesigned almost for more than 10 years. And now, May 22, they actually went and teased something special, something that we have never seen before. And here you see it, Lexus to unveil the new LBX on June 5th, 2023. And this time, they're releasing this in Europe. So there's very little information at this time. But I'll dig in and see what I can find and speculate what is the LBX. Hey, it's LSFD here today, and today we're here to look at this teaser, LBX. So the first thing is, let's talk about what is LBX, because it doesn't actually follow any of the Lexus terminology here, right? It actually has three letters, L, B, and X. Before they would have an X, which means it's a crossover, right? So we have the UX, the LX, the UX, the RX, NX, and all that, right? But now they have LBX. B, meaning this is probably a uh, B segment vehicle, so the subcompact vehicle, but then I don't know why the L. So it doesn't mean luxury baby crossover. I don't know. Maybe they couldn't figure out what BX means, so they had to actually add an extra letter in the front. So you guys, let me know in the comments below what do you think LBX will stand for? I'll see if anybody has some creative ideas there. Anyways, so let's go back and look at here. So when Akio Toyota actually announced their EVs, Lexus EVs, they actually showed these dark little vehicles here, right? In my previous vehicle, where we talked about the TX and the GX, we actually went over these. And remember this one? We said that we don't know what that was, and that was probably the CT replacement. I'm actually speculating this is the vehicle that we are looking at. So I'm going to zoom in here a little bit and see if I can actually get a little more insights on what it looks like. So I've zoomed in and let's see what I can do to brighten this up so that we can actually see what does this all really mean. The Lexus logo is now similar to the Prius where they have the logo on the hood and not face up in the middle. So if I go back into look at like the UX and if we go here at the NX, the logos are all here, not on the hood. If I go back the RX, and you can see here, the TX also uses the same logo on the front. So you can see that this is really part of the new design. So we'll go back, and you can see here more details. You'll also have a floating roof line, and this is probably where you see that light bar in the photos and then let's go back in the front here so you can see here this is what the front looks like and this is the spindle body it doesn't look like we have the actual spindle grill so I'm gonna put the actual photo on top here so that we can see both of them side by side so based on this you can see the photo that they provided is something like this where we have the spindle body here but you can see that this has the spindle body because you can see from here down is really the spindle grill and the spindle body is part of the body. But one thing that you've noticed here, they actually changed the signature Lexus Swift. This time it actually is the other way around. So this seems to be a little bit different in design that they've changed. Lexus emblem is here, Lexus emblem is here. And one thing you can see that this line here exactly this line so we can confirm based on what we're seeing here it actually is this vehicle you look at the wheels 
this wheel is exactly this wheel. So based on here, you can see that it does confirm that this is the vehicle, the LBX is. And now let's move over to bigger photo and you can see a little bit more details here. So zooming in, so they moved the emblem to this top. Now the radar cruise control is not no longer behind the logo. So they have to actually make an opening here. So this opening most likely is where the radar cruise control is. From what I'm seeing here, this looks like a camera. So the camera facing, front facing camera is actually on the side. And if we go back and look at it, this one is going to be very hard to get a triple beam LED. But now they actually flipped also the light. The Lexus signature check is now backwards. So this is, seems to be very Lexus signature design. And I'm assuming that the TX will actually look very similar as well. Because it seems like they're following this new trend of design nowadays. Where Lexus album is no longer in the front and it's on the hood. Alright, so now we move over to the back. I've actually brightened this up already and you can see that they have a G6Q. Don't know what that means. And the, actually the, the, the photo actually had some guides. So I don't know what these guides were used for, probably for some commercial, but they have G6Q. I don't know what that means. But we're going to zoom in a little bit and look at the light. So it looks like they have a seamless light bar all across with the, at the end. I'm assuming here either this is drawn or they actually have the light so that it will be continuously lighting up the whole back. Uh, the first generation NX they actually designed uh, a light in be between the gap so that from far away you can actually see a continuous light bar. So that could be one thing that they're going to be doing here. Another thing that we don't see is I don't see a wiper don't know what will be done there but there's not a lot of information from this picture uh, we can see at this point even brightening it up it doesn't really give you a lot of additional information so a few things to note Lexus Europe has actually put this as their press release so we definitely know that this LBX will be available in Europe and they're announcing this in Italy at, on June 5th at 8 a.m. Then we actually go over to UK and you can see that the Lexus UK media also says that it will be available in UK. So it says the signature lighting design. So that's where that piece that they're saying. And then we let's move over to Lexus Global to see. So Global actually just announces that it will be available in on, on June 5th when they talk about it in Italy. One thing I'm going to be interested about is let's move over to the Japanese. Sometimes in Japan they will actually provide a little bit more. Let's see what it says here. Let me do a Google Translate. So in Japan it doesn't really say a lot but I'm assuming that the Lexus LBAX will be available in Japan as well. And then we move over to Australia. So in Lexus Australia, they also have this in their press release, which means this will be coming into Australian land as well. And then we flip over to United States. You can see here nothing in the United States. So I think one thing that we can clearly note know that the LBX will not com be coming to United States. And also when I move over to Canada, let's see what Canada says. In Canada, also the LBX will not be available here. So it's interesting because I think the UX is considered small and tight for the Americas. So the LBX most likely is a B segment which is even smaller and I think that's the reason why it will not be coming to America. So I was looking around to find if I have more information about what is this LBX. So I went to what car in Australia and see what they think they're saying. And they're saying here, Lexus hands down the first previews of the upcoming small electric SUV and reveal its name LBX. So from what I 
seeing. I don't think this is a electric um, hatch because when you think about this, as part of the photos, it was on the back, and the back. If this was a BEV, it would have been actually in the front of the row, and it was actually in the back row. So I don't think this will be a small electric SUV. So I'm not sure if what which car had it right, but we'll we don't know. They may surprise us. Maybe it will be as part of an, a BEV as well. It could be a hybrid, and it could be a plug-in hybrid. Also, it could be a BEV as well. We don't know, right? So here, let me see what it says. It's just saying that this will re replace the CT200H. Unfortunately, we did have the CT200H in Americas, but it seems like this will not be coming to Americas. Again, we will. this is speculation. I'm not going to spread any fake news because we don't know, right? But it says, not officially confirmed, but the LBX will be on the ETNGA platform, underpinning the BZ4X and the Super Solterra. I'm not too sure here because I don't think this is a total BEV. Uh, most likely, it'll be on the TNGA, or it actually could be following the Yaris Crosses platform. So it th just talks about the teaser images, so not a lot of information, but we do have one. Uh, media saying that this will be a BEV. So what do you think? Should it be a BEV or should it just be a hybrid and a plug-in hybrid? So we switch over to Motor1. So Motor1 actually has some more information that they speculate. So these are all speculations again, right? So they're saying that they were surprised about this teaser as well. So June 5th in Milan, Italy. They're saying that they think that it's likely a Yaris Cross in Tuxedo. And it seems a bit confusing since the UX is already a petite crossover, but an equivalent Lexus version of the Yaris Cross would be even smaller. So they're saying that they're comparing it with the Yaris Cross. So they're saying it's about 165 inches long, whereas the UX is 177. So you think of it, this is 12 inches even smaller. So it's small, really. Okay, so they're saying that um, lexifying the Yaris Cross doesn't require a major investment in Toyota's part, so that's why this could be something that they they can do. Um, so BX is the final name. So they're, originally they're saying that yes, there was a BX, but because probably, okay, because there is already a BX, and so that's why they actually went with LBX as the final name. So it's saying that this LBX will compete with the uh, Audi Q2 and yeah, BMW and Mercedes doesn't have something as small uh, because the X1 and GLA are with the, L, the UX so that's why LBX is another segment of its own. Yeah, so it's saying that they, they, they also don't believe that the LBX will be sold in the United States where the Yaris Cross is not offered at well. Yeah, so um, it'll be surprising because I'm thinking that though it will be a hybrid model. I don't think they will be releasing a gas-only version, especially when you're looking at where they're releasing it. In Europe, which they don't have a lot of gas-only versions anyways, and then Australia, and then in Japan. So I'm looking at this and saying it's takes it's slow, zero to sixty-two miles per hour is eleven point eight in the Toyota badge, and there's a non-hybrid which is one hundred twenty-three horsepower, which is even probably slower. So I think it's it, time will tell on what they'll be putting out, but I am expecting that there'll be a little bit more juice, but it won't be that much more. We will have to see on June 5th. So that's all we have about the Lexus LBX. So we really have to wait till June 5th to see more information. And hopefully by then I can provide you more information on what the LBX is. So stay tuned, subscribe if you're interested in knowing more about the LBX. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please comment, like, and share this video. 
If you'd like to see more videos like this, you can subscribe to my channel and press that alert button to get notified when new videos are posted. If you'd like to support the channel, you can definitely provide a super thanks. I'll see you guys again next time in the next video.